Hey, 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 everybody. This is a repeat after me song. I said this is a repeat after me song. That's better. she was out there watching so I wanted to do her favorite song well today's date is 4 1 2020 and I have no jokes for you today none April Fools <laughs> gotcha of course I have a joke for you here's your joke of the day what makes music on your head what makes music on your head? A hair band. Get it? Hair band, because it's a band. Okay, I'm sure you got that one. Well, I hope everybody's doing okay out there. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I sure do miss everybody a lot. It's been kind of hard these last couple of days. I've just been thinking how much fun it would be back in, uh, to be back into the music room with all of you again just being goofy and dancing and singing and learning a lot um, about music i miss seeing my friends at work all the the teachers and and other staff i see at viking every day and i'm really missing my friends too um it's it's hard it's a really different time and it's something that none of us have ever had to deal with before even us grown-ups so it's it's been tricky it's been kind of a rough week but um I'm feeling pretty happy today and it always makes me smile just thinking that maybe um, a bunch of you are out there watching this and getting some smiles out of it too. So today we're going to keep going on with our talk about rhythm. So far this week we've learned about quarter notes getting one sound per beat, a ta. We've learned a bit about TTs that get two sounds per beat and of course we learned about the steady beat. When I saw you yesterday, I asked you to practice drawing ta's and tt's. And I hope a lot of you have done that and um, even made pictures with ta's and tt's all in them. That would be wonderful. And if you ever want to share those pictures with me, oh, I would just love to see them. And you can share them on the Viking Elementary um, General Music Facebook page where the links to these videos are. If you just share them in the comments, I would love to see your pictures. And um, even more than that, I would love to see pictures of your smiling faces. All right, guys, I'm back and I've got all my friends over here in our empty beat chairs for you. So we have Seamus here in our first chair. Seamus has got the beat all by himself. Remember, we said, just like stuffed animals have a head, like Mrs. Waldron has a head, like you have a head, notes have a head too. And when we see a note, we make a sound like this. Ta, one sound per beat. But next, when we come over here and see Trubbies and Melody together, they're sharing a chair. Now, last time they each have their own head, I still have one head, notes each have a head. Look here at this TT. It has two heads. That means it's two sounds for one beat. Then we move over to Harry here. And Harry again has a whole chair to himself. So he is a ta all on his own. Ta, one head. 
Harry's cute little head here, and one head and a top. And then finally, Mr. Maurice the monkey over here on the end, looks like he's sucking his toe right now. Maurice has that last beat, and he has the beat, the chair, all to himself. So he's a top too. So when we look at the rhythm that Mrs. Walder made for you up here today, we can clap it. Let's clap it four times, keeping a steady beat all together. And our beat, we're gonna go allegro. Allegro, that Italian word for a nice medium speed. Here's our beat, let's clap. Ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta. And now, remember, we can switch up rhythm. You can write your own songs by switching where the long sounds and the short sounds go. So right now, I wanna move that TT to the first beat. So I'm going to have Seamus join over here by Trubbies, which means now my TT is over here in the first beat. And my Ta, because Melody gets this chair all by herself now, gets moved to the second beat. So our two sounds in one beat are now at the beginning. Let's try this one. Four times a leg row, go! Tee tee ta ta ta. Tee tee ta ta ta. Tee tee ta ta. What's more? Tee tee ta ta ta. Hey, let's do one more of these and then I'm gonna show you something that is totally different. Some of you might already know what's coming up because you're already some pretty smart musicians out there. So this time, we're gonna take the TT and we're gonna put it in the third beat. So look here, did I, did I do everything I needed to do? Did I forget something? You got it, you are so smart, I did. I still have two stuffed animals in this first chair. And we need to move our two stuffies, or two sounds, over to the third chair, the third beat. You're so smart. Let's try it again. All together, this time, I think we should slow it down to Largo. Largo, let's clap. Ta. We have longer notes than ta. There's a note that's gonna take up all of these chairs, all of these beats together called a whole note. But we also have times of silence in music. And those times of silence in music are called, hmm, they're called rests. Get it, I'm taking a little rest right now. They're rests. Hmm. Because in music, the times that are silent can be almost as exciting as the time that there are sounds. And when we have a rest, we have an empty beat. So right now, I'm gonna take Trubbies and Harry. They're gonna come over here and watch. They're gonna be your audience for now. And I have to take away that TT tea -tea too, because there's nothing in there. Now, we have an empty beat. Did the chair disappear? No, it's still there. There's still four chairs. So it still takes up space. So we need to acknowledge that. We need to have a symbol that says, hey, don't forget chair three just because it's quiet. Don't worry, nobody would ever forget about you just because you're quiet. Promise, so it's okay to be quiet sometimes. People still know you're there. But to show this silence, we need a rest. So let me get my rest picture. Here it is. Here is our rest. It's called 
called a quarter rest. That's like its formal name if it's going out and meet new people. But in kindergarten, first grade, we'll call it a shh. We try not to make that shh sound really loud because then we're making sound. Remember, a rest is quiet. If you're shh, you're not quiet, are you? So we're gonna put this quarter rest here in our third chair. There we go. And now the chair is empty, but we're not gonna skip it because we have the rest sign there. Let's try this rhythm, making sure we have our rest. And when we rest, Put your hands out to the side. It helps us keep that steady beat and not accidentally skip over the third chair. So we're gonna start with our ta's. This time, let's go presto. Can you say presto? Remember, presto means really fast. One, two, four times, let's clap. Ta, ta, sh, ta, 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 sh, ta, 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 sh, ta, 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 sh, ta. That was really fast. Let's slow it down a little bit and go. Allegro. One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, sh, ta, 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 sh, ta, 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 sh, ta, 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 sh, ta. Somebody should tell Charlie that he needs to take a rest and stop barking whenever I make these videos. So music is full of sound and music is full of silence. All of them take up space though. So when you're writing your rhythms at home, if you want to include a quarter rest, please do. And I drew it on here like a Z, I'll show you. Like a Z and a C put together. So, see if I can do it this way. So we have our Z. And then instead of making the bottom of the Z, you turn it into a C. So you can kind of make it like that that I have here. Or this works really well too. Just a squiggle. Because if it doesn't have a head, then we know it's not a note. Notes have heads, notes have stems, and rests, there's a whole bunch of them, don't have heads. So it's an easy way to tell in music if you're supposed to be quiet or if you're supposed to be making sound. So at home, keep making those rhythms, put them together, and um, have some fun doing it. Just have a good time drawing some notes and finding rhythm in everything that you listen to these days. Maybe your dog's name. My dog's names are Charlie. Does that sound like a ta or a titi? Titi. Sissy. Titi, our cat, Louise, another Titi. So there's a lot of Titi sounds in my house, I guess with the animals, but if your cat's name was Joe, there's a Ta. If your dog's name was Steve, there's a Ta as well. So be thinking of words that you hear, it can be names of pets, it can be just words that you hear, and find the rhythms, find the Ta's and Titi's, and Make time for rest, too, throughout your day as you go through this fabulous Wednesday. And one more thing, don't do too many April Fool's pranks on your, your families that you're with. One or two is enough. Otherwise, people don't think they're as funny. Just a little hint from me to you. But for right now, it's time to say goodbye. Sing with me if you know it. A, B, See you later, D, E, F, G. I really miss ya, H. I have to go now, J. Doodly doodly do. K, bye bye now, L, M, N, O. I had a good time, P, Q. Are you gonna miss me, S, T, you are my best friends, V, W, X, Y, because I love ya, Z, that's all. Spread kindness and peace wherever you go. Love, Mrs. Waldron. Mwah.